Hi guys. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Deb. Welcome. And if you're returning, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, today, I'm going to do things a little differently. Um, I've done so many Timu hauls. And I do have another one later to do. But I kind of think maybe I should go back through and say, hey, this is how this held up. This is how this held up. So I'm going to start by this. This is my just breathe shirt and I have probably washed this five or six times I think it might have a spot here but it might no it's the print um, but as you can see it's not fading not even the blue is fading it's not fading it's it's wearing very very well as most of my shirts that I've gotten from there have done so if you're not familiar with Timu it's an online site similar to Wish. They also have an app and I'll leave all the links for the things that I'm showing today down below and there will also be a 30% off your first purchase from Timu link down there and I believe my code is FAST454 but I'll leave that, that all that down there too but I think it's not just important what you pay for them and what they look like when you get them but do they work? Do they do what they say they're going to do? So that's the purpose of this. So I just wanted to show you just a few items like this shirt, how well it held up. And then I got all these utensils and they were next to nothing. As you can see, it's in, I changed the jug that it came in. This is my, this is one I had. And I have used these. I keep them on my stove top. Well, I have a shelf on my back of my stove and they go there and every piece I have used has worked just fine they have all held together well as you can see I was just making cookies with this one and I actually had to get this out of the strainer but and as I said in the video with that the container they come in it's a little cheap flimsy thing but you know if you don't have anything else it's a starter, you know, but all the all the utensils were great, and I have no problems with them. They've got heavy handles and, you know, thick silicone, so it's not going to just fall apart first time you use it. I've used it and used them and used them for about a month now, so, yeah, those worked out great, okay? So, the next thing I wanted to show you was these things, and what they are is they're hand drying cloths. And what I noticed with these is, okay, with kids, they would be great. Because you know, they're a little too small for an adult, and I think it's, they will dry your hands. I mean, they do. But they just feel kind of awkward on an adult's hands. I mean, they dry them. There's enough to dry them. But I think maybe if they made them like this big for an adult, it would work better. But for kids, this is great. You have one in every child's color or whatever and you buy two in each color so when you're washing one you just set the other ones out but it would really solve it solves the problem of little kids passing germs on to, to the next you know they get on the towel and then that next person goes and you're just drying your hands in somebody else's dirt you know so that it's a great purpose for that but I do wish they were a little bit longer see they're big enough to dry your hands and they're absorbent enough but we're just kind of used to a little bit bigger item and it, it just feels awkward. It works, I've used it. it, it works, but it just feels a little awkward. But with little kids, this would be great. You know, you can sit them down low enough where they can reach them themselves. So, I say A plus on this and I might even go a step further as to buy another one and just sew them together or maybe even just fabric glue them together and see if that works better for the adults and I'll let you know on that okay and then I got these these are uh, dish rags just common everyday dish rags but they're a microfiber type material and the one thing I did notice that I, I mean they hold up like any other wash rag no big deal you know what can you say about a what can you say about a dish rag except for this 
I did notice that since they're microfiber, they dry faster. So you know how like sometimes you'll have have a wet dish rag and you'll go in there a couple hours later and because you had something else you wanted to wash up and it starts to smell like spoiled. You don't have that because it dries faster. I noticed that. But other than that, they're just normal dish rags, you know. They work just fine. And, but they were cheaper. They were cheaper. Okay, and then another item I wanted to bring to your attention. This is a face exfoliator is what they call it, I believe. But I And I had an, one similar to this that I got at Dollar Tree. But it wasn't as easy to hold on to. I don't use this side at all, but I do appreciate that that's a sponge and I just squeeze it out and let it dry so it doesn't get all icky. But I always use this side and I'm just, you know, all over my face because I have such bad psoriasis. If I didn't, I'd have skin tags everywhere because I already have a lot of them and it's just where my skin is just reconditioning itself all the time. But, but I like the fact that this has, you know, you can just squeeze it however you want. Just squeeze it and it's fine. Okay, and then I also brought out these earrings. Now, these earrings I have worn several times. And they don't hurt my ears at all. And this one doesn't have it. This one I must have lost the back to it. Because the back is missing. But I've got plenty more because I bought them too. But they don't. They, I've worn like hours at a time. And they have not hurt my ears or anything. And these were like 71 cents. So, I have these on my list. I'll put, go ahead and put them in. But they don't irritate my ears at all. Now, where are you? One of my ears is crooked. I think it's this one. Well, I can't see to get it in. Anyway, also I brought in this perfume that I bought. It's called Rose, and that's all it says is Rose. Now, I have heard some of their perfumes do not last. They go on, and but like within an hour or so, the scent is gone. Not this stuff. This stuff will last all day. Of course, I spray it on my clothes. I don't spray it on my body because I have so many allergies to stuff. And so I tend to just spray it to, on my clothes. But this, I mean, I have wore this and I gone to the store like eight hours later. Actually, forgot I even put it on. And had people say, man, you smell good. So it, this one does last. And I will try a couple more. This is what it looks like. I try to cover up my face so you can see it. That's what it looks like. But, and it's, it's definitely rose smelling. If you like roses, this is one to grab. If you don't like roses, I would avoid it. <laughs> because I just love the smell of roses. Just love it. Okay, and then I have this. And I made this out of one of my molds. I don't know if you can see it, but it sits like this. And then a votive candle goes in here, or a tea light. And I'll... I'll put a picture over here showing you what it looks like with the tea light in it because I did take pictures of with the lights out and with the lights on. And I just did it in a basic color because I try to do that with with all my new molds because you know I want to get a prototype so I can see all the things that stand out that you didn't see in the mold because sometimes that happens. But so I'll put the picture up here, but this mold that worked just fine and I mean honestly I wasn't sure it was going to set up because my resin had gotten so cold that it kind of crystallized on the hardener part What's it? one part or the other but anyway it did which I was shocked and you know I just picked a random color and I thought well the moon you know we'll just do yellow and I threw some glitter in it just to give it a little sparkle in case you know but, so that's what that looks like. So the molds do work. They are well. And I'll be honest with you. Okay, on 
Tamu, I got a set of four coaster molds and a mold and a coaster holder mold for oh, uh, maybe five bucks, maybe. I can't remember what the price of that was. I'll, I'll put that on the screen too. But anyway, I went to Walmart the other day and I was looking for yarn for something. And I saw they had one coaster mold and it was $9.99 or something. I was like, excuse me? Not to mention the fact that you have to do this thing four times to get a whole set. It's like, you have one in there? Crazy. So anyway, that's just an update on some of the things I've purchased and how well they've held up. And so far, I gotta be honest, overall quality, I'm still sticking it. It's my story, I'm sticking it to it. Their quality is way above wish. And so far, I've really enjoyed everything I've gotten. There's been one, like one thing, one thing, oh, I got those painted jean leggings. And when I first opened them, I said I didn't like them. But when I tried them, I did. Oh, and I also got these. I've been wearing these pretty regular for the last week, too. So, and I think these were like 71 cents a piece, too. So, anyway, so I just thought I'd just do an update. And I'll do this, these occasionally to let you know how things are holding up. Oh, and also, I have this sitting here, too. I forgot. I have this sitting here, too. And this thing is so sturdy. And it's so easy to just take with you very convenient works great and it's better than anything you'll see at the Dollar Tree you know and I know I didn't pay that much for it so anyway like subscribe do all the YouTube -y things and have a good day hey come on back and see us bye